Okay, so this is procedural blade two. Okay, so we will have unlockable characters for this one. So we have... Well, it has point of view mode and side view. So we can do... Uh, story mode. Or CPU mode. Training. Versus mode, that's with the player. Uh, group battle mode. Two player link battle, so that's for first person mode. Slash mode. And options. So we're gonna do just where's the CPU mode for this? We're in the story mode. So let's see. Kado, Umi, Sami, Red Shadow, Matsumushi, Suminagashi, Night Stalker, Sanka, Kanjo, Rose Hachi, Oh. Tony Umeda and Highwayman. Oh, we're always gonna do Tony Umeda first. Yo! Katana, Nodachi, Longsword, Yari, Broadsword. And he doesn't have access to Naginata. So. Let's try Nodachi. That's a lot of blood. So this is quite a narrow stage. Okay, so this is a stance changing button. This is a slash. Okay, so it cycles through stances. Nothing on triangle. Not sure what that is, that's a duck, and that's about it. And this is free form run. I see you picked the best character. Yeah. Uh so, so yeah, Tony Umeda, I let's see, who is the what is his best weapon? Well I have the Nodachi, so better be his special it's weapon. Nodachi, I So what's the R1 thing? Because I couldn't understand it. The one where he jumps up and goes woo. This. Is this uh, so that is... Uh, that is... So that is, um, it's an anti-air. I believe. Anti-air. It's... I believe that's the button that you'd press if, um... Uh... It's, uh... 
that way you, you would crouch and also to jump. Okay, I believe my leg is hurt now. I'm not sure. Uh, so one of the things I took out of Bushido Blade Two is that you do not you do not get um like your legs hurt anymore. Oh, that's kind of dumb. I like that part. Well, it makes it so that you're not crouching against each other, so it kind of speeds it up. Okay, that was a weird move. It definitely feels already more arcadey than the first one. Check. Also, that tree really needs to be transparent when it's in front of the center. Um, let me see. Yeah, the arm still seems to be get wounded, but the legs nope. don't seem to get wounded. The arm can be wounded, your legs cannot. Mm. That's kind of um. a shame. I like that part of the game. Yeah, but it kind of made it weird whenever you would have two people with the legs wounded. Um, so... Let's see. So, Tony Umeda is actually one of the characters that uh, has uh, Iijitsu. Oh, okay. Well, that, yeah, so if you pick Katana... Um, also, his uh, secondary weapon, he has two boomerangs, which cannot kill instantly, uh, but they can wound. How do I sub-weapon? Which you do by crouching and hitting circle. Crouch is R1 plus R2, I'm guessing. Something, I think it's, it's whatever you just did there. Mm -hmm. like he has boomerangs, really. That's what they gave him. Mm -hmm. Yep. Can you pick other people's sub weapons up? No, you can't. Oh, that's a shame. But you can pick you can pick yours up again by crouching over it. Yeah, I I, I kind of I don't know. The leg wounding is was kind of my favorite thing in um, the previous Bushido Blade, but I think I would have limited to like you know you can just wound one leg, not both of them. Mm hmm. Can't disarm opponents, I believe not. No, you can't disarm opponents, but um, there is one thing they did add. You can actually, I forgot how you do it, but there is, you can actually, if you do it just right, you can actually throw your, you can actually grab your opponent. Oh, I think you have to be uh, behind them to do that. Uh, it, it, I can't remember if it's behind, but there, it is very tricky to do. And if they and they can technically tech it, but if they you do if they don't tech it, uh, it's an instant kill. And they're pretty brutal. Also, I would recommend doing the story mode of this one because it is basically just this kind of mode. Oh, so it's not like weird circumstantial stuff. No, it's no, no. It is basically a more traditional kind of thing. I'm gonna try that. Yeah, because you're not. Um, although actually, with this, since you have everyone unlocked, mm -hmm. um, you would you would actually see everyone. But yeah, but yeah, the story mode is. Um, yeah, it's more traditional. So yeah, this one is very much a um, two rival dojos going against each other. Ah, okay. And that basically the curse of that sword from the first game uh, is... Uh, Basically, the only way to uh, end it is to take the sword and kill one of the dojos. Like they're one of the dojos. Like at the very end, if you play as the opponents of them, uh, basically there will be this woman at the end where you have to kill. That she's just sitting there, and you'd have to like apparently in order to end the curse, you'd have to kill her. Oh, okay. But you can just actually run away. Okay. 
見つめいたものとなっているんだそして今長き因縁の戦いに終止符を打つけど社員党は総動員で動き出した<笑>まずは奪われた御神道を夕霧を取り返すため鳴鏡の本名教館を yeah, I feel... I don't know... How this one does it with the stages? I guess the big problem with the, this game is it's so easy to kill someone with one good hit that the stages kind of don't end up having anything worth traversing them for, really. Yeah, uh, they're just they. Yeah, there's they're pretty small arenas, so yeah. Oh, uh, should I just pick a standard character? Um, well. So Tony made is pretty decent. Um, my personal favorite's Khan, uh, because one of his sub weapon is actually one that can kill instantly. Yeah, okay. Uh, but some some other good uh, sub weapons are Ch uh, Chihiro, who basically is this little kid. Uh, his like maybe her uh, sub weapon is actually a frog, which if you throw it at any um, female character, will get kind of grossed out and drop their weapon. Um, another good one is, I think, it, is it Hongo? Oh, so it's Highwayman is it... like the Black Lotus guy from the first no, game? No, it's... I. Uh, so Highwayman is one of the characters from the first game, and I believe um, Red Shadow also is from the first game. Uh, is it uh, Go... Or yeah. is it Utsuemi? Utsuemi, I think, is the... No, it's uh, Isohachi. So Isohachi is basically this old war veteran. Okay. He's really good at the Yari. His sub weapon is basically to shout at the opponents and cause them to drop their weapon. Uh, but if you do it too many times, uh, he will start to cough and leave himself vulnerable. <laughs> okay, that sounds like a good character. Let's go with him. Uh, I know for a fact that his best weapon is the Yari. Okay. Which is the spear. So are there any good ending requirements for this one? No. Now the moment has finally No, it is straight up just play with how you want. Ongoing battle that has lasted since the destruction of the Sue family. Also this voice acting. Can you endure the mission to avenge our wrath? Show me what you can do. Leave it to me. I mean, the previous one also had voice acting, but it was subtitled because it was uh, Japanese. Yeah. Um, okay, so apparently the throws are done by hitting back and X. So, yeah, uh, during stages, you're going to have to fight just normal like ninjas, like if you're playing slash mode. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> so let me see. Isohachi. Yari. Um... Wow, that that spin was pretty good. Also, holy shit! Look at how long his how far his back dash is. Literally teleports. Yeah. Yes. Also, that that jump sure was something. Like here's realistic combat, also a massive fucking leap from standing still. Okay, so apparently his the way you do it is you hit R2 plus circle and then circle again. To do the spin? To do the um, yell. Ah. Okay. Next battle stage, fairy dog. Yeah, I kind of wish like this kind of like formula of just a few hits murder you would be explored more. Because this basically feels like a 3D samurai showdown. Mm-hmm. But in a good one, because there were 3D Samurai Showdowns. Yeah, I like a good one. That seems kind of broken. Great, 
Uh, yeah. Uh, but I think there is there is uh, some catch to to yeah. I definitely think that this kind of story, woo, this kind of story mode is a good idea for the game. Yes. So, and yeah, so the parrying thing in this is it's a lot simpler. How do you parry? Oh, I think it's better like when you clash like, with a proper stance or something like that. Uh, it is basically there is no specific button. It is just all t um, timing based. I am Suminogashi. Mikado-san has seen fit to give me this name. Yeah, I we agree with that. It's not really, like, that clear. Well, unless that happens. <laughs> and they drop their weapon. That's all there is to it. Yeah, basically it is um, stance difference differential. Mm-hmm. Uh, compared to what they have, and also timing. Yeah, I think if you were to do this today, you would probably make it more accessible. So here is one thing that's weird, and this is actually how you unlock different characters. Yeah. So. Hey, old man, haven't you retired yet? On is. Are you out of your mind? What would you do without me in a critical time like this? Are you sure? Time has changed since you've trained me. Though I approve of your skills. Approve? Pah! Don't you treat me like an old man! Ah, I should have taught you manners while I was still at it! It's still not too late. Does it like pick whether I fight this guy or not? Whatever you wish. No. We've got guests now. See ya! No. Okay, um, so one other thing I was gonna say is uh, it seems if you did something like this today it would make more sense in terms of just production and accessibility. Oh, I'm playing as him now. Um, so yeah, um, you are now playing as him. Um, if you beat these next stages without dying, that is how you unlock characters. So if you were playing one of the base characters, you would be playing as uh, characters that you don't actually have unlocked. Oh, okay. So that is how you. So basically, in order to unlock everyone, you need to play um, people story mode, and then uh, basically not die during these sections. Because if you die, uh, you return back to uh, Isohachi. No, oh, okay. So yeah, so, if you were, if you were to do like this game today, I think you wouldn't go with the one character picks X weapons. You would just do, do one character, one weapon. Because it seems like otherwise it's a bit too, like it's a bit too weird. Like you have to learn different characters, different weapons, and that doesn't like seem too accommodating for something that's very simple. Yeah. Um, also, one thing to point out, since it actually matters here. Um, so, oh, if I'm you dead. remember on the select or the, the character select, um, mm -hmm. that uh, there was two different sides. Yeah, that's the two uh, different so schools. Two different sides. Yeah, it's two different schools. So, with the spear weapon, one school has access to Naginata, the other has access to the Yari. Ah, okay. Also, I think the next level is something that technically is in the first game, but um, you didn't get to. Also, uh, wounding only goes from uh, kind of instance to instance. So you won't be wounded until you die. Sorry, Hongo. The future dump site. Uh, yes, here we go. I think this is the stage. Well, well, well. 
you are a princess who's gone way past her prime. Huh? I, Subame, am to fight an old man. She has a uh, M16. Yep. She has an M16. So apparently, this is also a character that you could fight or play as in the original. Um, but yeah. Yep. So, yes, there are characters that have guns. Um, there was a character in the first game that had a gun, uh, which is actually, if you pick someone from the opposing school, you would fight against him. Oh, uh, okay. So, the best way to deal with... So, so they can only fire ahead of them. The uh -huh. best way to f counter this is to... Um, basically, uh, get at them from the side. Um, also, they do have limited ammo, ammo so uh, yeah, here you go. that is, not, you can actually get them to fire enough bullets that they have to reload, which leaves them highly vulnerable. Yeah. Also, you can't just run into them, but that's usually not a very um, consistent way of... Let's be that. Yeah, the Yari is, or the spears are kind of weird against this. This is a bit bullshit, though. Eat it. Uh, no, the gun does not have different stances. Can you play it as the gun person? Uh, in two player mode, yes, you can. So you can play as one gun person against the other. Then becomes a third person shooter. Yeah, it becomes a really weird shooter. A really weird realistic shooter. Okay, back to ninjas. Well, that's fine. This guy's a war veteran. He's used to being shot. So... The thing is, actually, speaking of guns, I don't know when it starts, but if you leave ninjas alone for a while, uh, some of them will have a sub-weapon of a gun. Really? Just like so a, ninja a ninja will just, okay, just at some point just pull out a gun and shoot you. That sounds like something I'd make in a video game. I want to say it's one of the purple ones that, or it's once they are purple. Go, oh God, look at this Soul Calibur ass motherfucker. Yep. And he's using the broadsword. I don't like the stance changes in this one. That by was the actually way. one of the characters you could play as in the first one. Yeah. He was the uh, heaviest character, I believe. Yeah. I, I don't really like the way the stance has changed in this game. Because I have to cycle through three stances, if it was just two stances, then sure, one button is fine, but... Three, a bit yeah, that less is, fine. Yeah, kind of annoying. I think like in this way, AJ, what you would do it like, um, Neo does it, which is you hold the stance button and then you press a button to switch directly to the stance you want. There's no time to be wasted. So one thing that actually um You've come as well. the men that, I have that is different between or that is different between the two gun people is that the other gun person has a revolver, uh, okay. but he is a lot more mobile. Because he'll like backflip. This is nothing. I can take care of it. Really? First of all, you're headed in the wrong direction. Hmm? Looks like there's no time for talking. They're coming. Please take care of the Ugiri while I go hold them off. Are you not playing the best character? I'm playing the he second best him character. He played a little bit. Yeah, I'm not playing the second best character. Racist old war man. Sorry, I just got here, but I was, I was busy. Oh, it's fine. We're no way of knowing these things. Up. You you missed us running around a uh, snowy forest for a while. A snowy forest for a while, reading a guy that was objectively wrong. 
Oh, also you missed Topol. Yeah, we killed everybody with a tapeworm. I'm glad I missed it. <laughs> and then a literal pile driver. So what do you think of this game so far? Um, I, I'm sad that you can't break people's legs anymore, like in the first game. Um, that's a real shame. Um, I also don't like the stance switching, but otherwise it's pretty good. It feels like it has less, uh, less moves and maneuvers per character. Yeah, but it also has a much more expanded roster. Yeah. So, I mean, that's kind of the price you pay, really, with the sort of thing. I mean, at this point, if it was... Oh, shit. Uh, if it was, like, already, like, an expanded roster type of deal, uh, I would have just gone, like, okay, each person has one weapon. Because all these characters plus all these weapons is kind of a bit too much for me. Yep, that's me dead. I will accept your challenge. Also, it's kind of good that you didn't get the other gun guy because he makes really noises, no annoying noises every time he shoots. Also, you, remember you have your uh, sub weapon. Oh, right. Thank you for getting that. Yeah, it's really weird. Like, like I have L1 and L2 who, that don't do anything. It's kind of like, oh, sub weapon is R2 plus circle and then circle. It's like, wait, wait, just don't make it a damn button. Because uh, also, whenever you crouch, uh, you can also throw dirt, like in the first game. Okay. How do you throw a third dirt when you don't have a sub weapon anymore? Uh, your, your arm's wounded. But how do you throw dirt up usually? That's why I'm. Uh, it's X instead of circle. Oh, okay. Your arm's wounded. Oh, oh, apparently you can use a sub weapon. Well, oh, I mean, that makes sense. Whether you're not actually throwing something. God, it's a shame that if you're, even if you got a throw off, um, that you weren't using the Naginata, because the Naginata has a throw that's really good. Where, and you basically break their neck with your Yari, or with your Naginata. I appreciate you trying to use the high ground to your advantage. Yeah, but he's just not gonna move. Also, I really hate that because I'm used to Neo, I guess, I hate that you can't switch stances mid combo. That's really annoying. Also, that shout is weird because, like, oh, they dropped their weapon, but it magnetically just goes back to their hand as soon as, like, you hit them. Semi, I've waited a long time to meet you. Oh, you. Then it's about time we put an end to this. The, this guy, I think, was in the first game as well. I think... Maybe. I think that might actually be a guy who was mentioned in the backstory. Well, I'm fucking dead. Yeah, basically he is the leader of the, um... Or he was the leader of the Kage. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can kill him. 
Oh, he doesn't give a shit about my shouting. I think he actually sidestepped it. I think you. I think you actually have to be like facing them. Oh, okay. That would... Wow. Slash through me. That's a bit of a dick. Yeah, but this definitely isn't the last boss. I mean, yeah, he's not cheating near enough. Is this the final stage, the shrine? I believe this is the second to last stage. Okay, I think we can beat this before the stream ends. The Shine Toe's wish is about to be accomplished! The Naru Kagami have protected the Kagami lineage for a very long time. I cannot allow you to make an end of it. Nope, this is the last stage. Oh, this is the last stage, okay. Does this guy have a gun? Uh, no, he does not have a gun. Uh, he does have something else, though. Also, he does not care about your shout. Oh, he's immune to it? Oh, he has teleporting. Oh, so he got teleporty guy. Okay. So, um, yeah. So whenever you get a, what would normally be a hit on him, he'll teleport. Oh, uh, like... The thing is, every time you get him to teleport, he will teleport slightly closer to you. Oh, I see. And then... And then once you get him, to the, then also he'll start to have a pause, like, you see how he pauses? Mm-hmm. Because not only will he be closer to you, he will also be in front of you more. So it is basically a game of trying to get him, or hitting him enough times, so that he appears in front of you, and you kill him while he is in his uh, stun animation. Him gently. That actually didn't take as long as I thought it was going to take. The back room. The main Tatara shrine. The main Tatara shrine. You. Are you the one? You have come. I see. Oh, ancestors, it has taken us ages to reach this point. Prepare yourself. The Sue family's revenge can finally be accomplished. Yes. It is the mission of your clan to take my life with so. Giri and end our existence. It was 800 years ago that our ancestors, the Kagami family, betrayed the Sue family and... ...and destroyed them. There is only one way to have your revenge... ...and lay this feud to rest. Go ahead, take my life, for I am the descendant of the Kagami. Okay, so basically now I pick whether I kill her or not. Yeah. Yep. Is there any difference? I'm guessing there's a difference to the ending. There is a different slight ending. difference to the ending. Yeah. Eh. Well, he's old and racist, so I think he'd kill her. Antonio Meda has the best walk away ending, honestly. Yeah. Hmm. Which essentially boils down to he does not give the slightest shit about this anime garbage and just <laughs> tells her to sh just stop this shit. Yeah, he's too old. He's gonna die anyway. Fuck it. If I were 30 years younger, I would have killed you at once, in full vigor. But... 
killing a non-resistant is out of the question, and a Shinto member would never commit such a deed. This was the right thing to do, the right thing! It's a good face. <laughs> Well, so, yeah. that was a good game. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I definitely think, like, it's really... It's really rough playing it now, because... Um, basically, fi fighting games didn't go this way, but a lot of, like, character hack-and-slash games did. And they refined a lot of, like, stuff to just make it more... Uh, Playable, like you know, like I don't know, Dark Souls, Neo, stuff like that. Ninja Gaiden, like 3D combat, like is much smoother now than it was before. So I think doing something like this now would be pretty fun. That's right, Ryuji Sasai did do the music of this game. Yeah, maybe Square Enix will remember that they have this game. Who knows? Uh, so the thing with that is that um, you saw credit for a company called Lightweight. Yes. Uh, they are the main developer for the game. Mm -hmm. uh, somewhere during this game, after this game came out, they had a horrible, horrible falling out. I can't remember what, but so basically, they are in licensing hell for this game, apparently, uh. which is why they did not use, or they would not make another one. Uh, but um, there's there is a spiritual. Uh, successor on uh, the name uh and it's called uh it's for the ps2 called uh, it's tango blade of the something yeah but i've heard of that one was pretty bad it's pretty bad it just doesn't have the flow of it it feels more like a traditional fighting game yeah 